got us another mod coming. This one here is going to be a uh, solar panel and solar batteries and uh, MPPT charge controller and a Renogy communication hub and a Renogy BT2 Bluetooth transmitter. All right, so there's the solar panel. It's a 200 watt Renogy portable uh, solar panel and it'll just plug right straight into the solar port on the rod, okay? Okay, and while I was down here working, I did notice another interesting little detail. Well, an interesting thing to note is this section from here over is not a vent at all. It's just literally against the wall. That's the wall right there. All right, from this point, from basically from here over is the only part that's actually a vent. So the other part you nearly need to be concerned about getting air is those three sections over there. So what I was actually planning on doing is building like a little, uh, a little port basically that'll fit right here that will hold the bed out a little ways um, from these vents so that air can come down between and get in. That's kind of my way of dealing with this. I don't know if that's the way, but it is a way. <laughs> All right, and the other thing I was gonna talk about is if, you're, if you've got AGM batteries um, in your trailer currently and you're gonna switch over to lithium, you do need to switch. There's a switch that's behind this panel here that you'll have to switch to lithium. I went to their website, which is extremely helpful, by the way. If you wanna find information about this particular this particular unit, you can go to Progressive Dynamics and find all kinds of really helpful stuff about that unit and how it works, okay? I've got my battery disconnect, disconnected, <laughs> and I'm about to start clearing out this space in here, because, well, it's down underneath here is where you gotta get to to get to the batteries area. So it makes me real glad that I'm underneath the, uh, <laughs> underneath the carport here, because, well, it's pouring down rain right now. All right, she's all cleared out. Here we are, we've got it all ripped out of there and uh, everything's exposed. And um, one of the first things I wanted to do is I wanted to confirm that that wire that you see right here uh, was in fact the solar panel plug-in wire. And I did confirm that. And I also confirmed that it is 10 gauge. So that right there is a 10 gauge wire that goes to the SAE port on the outside of the camper, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm gonna to have to hook this wire here to an MPPT controller, and then it will, the controller then will feed the batteries. Um, and I will be changing this battery out, uh, which is just a regular AGM battery, and I'll change it out for two lithium batteries. And then I'll, I'm probably gonna mount my controller actually on the floor right here. All right, so the AGM battery is out. I'm gonna go in here to the panel, I have the cover off of the panel, and we are going to be looking right, I don't know if you can see, but there's a little bitty teeny tiny switch right there, okay? And bottom is says LA, and up or away from you says LI. LI standing for lithium, and LA standing for lead acid. So it was on lead acid, and it is now going to be on lithium and I, all I did was you know push that little switch that way okay here's what I got so far um, I took out the old battery tray and replaced the battery tray with these two new these are Atwood battery trays um, if I had to do it over again I think I would have gotten some different kind of trays that don't uh, go right down the center because if you'll notice I got some communication ports that I need to use that are right here in the middle but I was able to find a workaround and just basically was able to tighten these down. This plastic, so it bends and stuff. And I was able to tighten it down right next to it. There's a little ridge right here. And it kind of sits up against that ridge and doesn't seem to be a problem and holds it down good. Anyway, wasn't exactly uh, probably the best form. It'd be got it good if it had a strap that came through this area. Anyway, these batteries have a little, um, on off switch and they plug in 
basically to this communication port right here, which is just a Cat5 cable, basically. This is the switch. It's just a little tiny button with a blue light on it when you plug it in. It's hooked into a, a Cat5 cable connector. I just didn't want to focus on that for some reason. Um, but anyway, you plug it in on the upside right here. And then you just press that button and hold it for three seconds and that light will get real bright and the battery will be hot. It's not pretty currently because I've just got everything basically hooked up. So this is my uh, BT2 uh, Bluetooth controller, uh, Bluetooth transmitter rather. Um, and it's hooked up to this uh, blue uh, hub, which has the battery plugged into it. This white one here is the first battery there. And then this is the controller unit and it's plugged into the controller down there, okay? Like I said, it's kind of a wire mess. I'll clean it all and make it pretty later. But um, I'll uh, uh, show the app here and what it looks like on the screen uh, so that you can see you know, what exactly it is that I'm monitoring. Uh, but it does show the two batteries, uh, battery one and battery two. And it tells you what the charge state of each one of those currently is. There's nothing going on to charge it currently because it's not plugged into anything. Uh, but I'm about to plug in the solar panel and check and be sure that that part is working correctly. So I will show you that when I get it pulled up here. And I couldn't figure out why the, um, why the panels were not actually charging the batteries. And what I discovered was that the polarity was reversed on the panel. So uh, fortunately this thing did come with a polarity reversal uh, piece. So I added that in there and all of a sudden it worked perfectly. I did, it did come up and tell me that I uh, had the polarity reversed on the screen. So that's kind of good. The app I think does, does a pretty good job. And I'll put, you know, the using of the app up on the screen so that you can kind of get some idea about how the app works. But so far I like it. The only thing I don't like is that it seems to drop Bluetooth like constantly and I constantly having to re-initiate the Bluetooth. But other than that, it seems like it works good. Like when it when it is connected, it does give you the information you need. So there you go. Um, so there you go, there's the panel. And it's sitting out there. I think it was giving me like 158 uh, watts, something like that. So, and like oh, 10 point something amps, I believe. 19 something volts. So yeah, it was, it's doing, doing pretty good, I would say. And it said, I think that it would charge it in, I don't know, something like eight hours if, you know, with that current. I don't know. And just so you know, I do have, I turned on the refrigerator and, you know, I turned some things on to kind of pull some power. So I do have the fridge on. It is running and it's running 100% off the battery. So, all right. So there's the, the hub. I'm just going to mount it uh, and the Bluetooth BT2 transmitter. I'm going to mount both of these with the uh, Gorilla tape onto the back wall right there. Okay, so here it is, neatened up. It ain't perfect, but you know what? It's pretty good. <laughs> so let's see. Let's turn this. I got a lot of, I got a lot of shadows in here. Sorry. Um, there we go. So there's the uh, DC and MPPT controller. And then I put the uh, hub up there. And then the Bluetooth, you can just barely see it up there. And I just stuck these on the wall with, um, with some Gorilla tape. And then, you know, just tie wrapped off all the extra wire. Cause there's some of these things come with a bunch of extra wire. And then, tie wrapped off the communication cables 
So basically you've got uh, these two batteries are tied together with the communication cable and then that uh, the other communication cable goes into the hub down there that right, right there and then the controller has a communication cable which is just cat5 cable that comes out and goes to that hub and then on the far right there right there is where the uh, bt2 plugs in so basically you've got one bluetooth transmitter that transmits all of the information for the batteries and charger controller all that information gets sent to the bluetooth transmitter and you can monitor it all on the app i'm just going to give some final thoughts here real quick about uh the renogy solar generator upgrade that we did um for the past couple days, I've kind of been running a little bit of a test. I've had the the little 12 volt fan running, had it on low, um, and had the fridge running full time. And I just charge with the solar panel during the day, and I'm able to get it up to 100% really pretty quickly. Um, not really doesn't really take a terribly long time. Now you know I'm not running anything else. I'm you know not turning lights on and stuff like that. So it's just the fridge and the Fan, but I wanted to get some idea about you know how long how long will this thing last will it really work and so far what I'm finding is that basically it seems to be able to as long as I got some good Sun it seems to be able to charge um, within a few hours uh, up to full capacity and then I'm just unplugging at that point um, because it appears that the uh, converter just turns that additional energy into heat and it just heats up the converter. So I don't really want to do that. So, <laughs> so I'm just unplugging it and letting it run off the batteries. And so that's what I did yesterday. It was like 2.30 in the afternoon yesterday and I unplugged the solar panels because it was fully charged and it brought it down uh, over, you know, through the afternoon and overnight down to 84%. And it's currently being charged back up and it says it's gonna be a couple hours or so before it'll actually be fully charged. I guess what I'm trying to say is that overall, it seems like it's a pretty good system. So we haven't actually used it out camping yet, but I kind of wanted to test it before we went camping. We'll be going in the next couple weeks, we'll be going for uh, about a week or so, and we'll test it out real good then. Just wanted to give you a quick update on exactly how it's working, you know? Not just that it does work, but how it works. How efficient is it? And so far, I would say I'm extremely pleased. It's doing a great job.